Good morning, girls and guys. Ready for some breakfast? Huh? Good morning. Hi, Bacardi. Hi, TJ. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Lily. Here you go, Lily. Good morning, girls. Good morning. I'm gonna let your little sisters out first, okay? I'm gonna let your little sisters out. Good morning, little girls. Good morning. There you go. Let me get you some clean water here, okay? Get your fresh water. You're a minute, big girls. Just wait. You just wait. Okay, girls. Come on out. Have a good day. All right, big girls, now it's your turn. Here's your special food. All right, here you go. Here you go. All right, girls, are you done being broody? Huh? Go play, don't be broody today, okay? Good morning, Snowball. Good morning. Good girl. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the farm. It's breakfast. Now that the animals ate, we get to eat. <laughs> the fun time. 
So we're going to enjoy our breakfast, and then we'll we usually have a discussion what our day is going to be. So figure out what all we're going to do today, and you get yeah. to come along. So we have bacon and eggs. Do your girls like good eggs? Yes, today? they do. They always lay good eggs. <laughs> and we're having some of my sour cherry jam. And we have muffins. That um, what are they? Those are black, black raspberries. Black raspberries. Yeah, our neighbor yeah. made them. I gave her some black raspberries, and she made us some yummy muffins. <laughs> That's a good deal. So we'll let you know how they were. That was a good breakfast. Yeah, it was a delicious breakfast. It always is. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> um, how were your little girls this morning? They were Any well. antics? Anything crazy? No, no, no. They're they're starting to get the hang of things. They still have trouble going up into their hen house dog crate at night. But they're getting it. Are they eating from the moving feeder? I don't know. <laughs> I hung their feeder up yesterday from a thing, and it moved a little bit. They were scared of it because it so was So it swings moving. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just a wee little bit. But they yeah. were like, yeah, they're scared easy. Okay. How many, they're so cute. How many broody ones do you have right now? I had two. Hopefully they're broken. Okay. I let them out. <clears throat> if they get back on their nest again and be broody, I'll have to put them back in broody prison. <laughs> good. Cows good? Yeah. 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 So my day, I think um, I'm going to take a quick run around the pasture outside the fence, make sure the fence is good. I'm going to test it, see what the, the ground should be pretty good because we've had a couple rains, yes. so the thank grounding goodness, rods goodness, goodness. should be good. And um, that's, uh, we might have a storm today too. Okay, I'll take more rain. <laughs> the garden can always take more rain. Okay, but it said thunderstorms. We haven't had a real no, thunderstorm this year. So but we have had rain. No. So what's a little different is you have that netting in your garden up over the strawberries. That could blow. Mm. Um, we want to maybe make sure that it's tied down we a little can. bit, put some bags on the ends. Strawberries are coming near an end, though. So I'm going to be taking that off. Okay. Maybe if it blows off, we just leave <laughs> it off. <laughs> I'm a little worried about your um, elderberries. If they're so uh, tall. Oh, yeah. They are tall and lanky. They lanky. Could. And they're not, you know, it's it's not woody yet in there. It's the stem so we could well, they could blow over some of them are actually falling over yeah. so okay all right so i'm gonna do the fence line and then i'm gonna i'm gonna check the orchard again we've had more rain so i'm a little bit worried about the fungus if i have to spray some copper mm -hmm. in there okay and then i said uh, the other day i would help you weed i'll pull some of the big we have some horse nettle and um of course thistle too so I'll get oh, on there's that. always thistle yeah. So I have a bunch of weeding to do too, yeah. and I got to work on my tomatoes. I need to get out some suckers and per clip them up. They're getting so tall, and just some garden maintenance and picking. I have to pick black raspberries, red raspberries, sugar peas, and peas. <clears throat> so harvest first, and then work the rest of the stuff. Okay. If I get a chance, I want to look in the bees. If not today, tomorrow. Okay. So I'm pretty busy. I don't know if I'll be able to get a nap in. <laughs> I bet he will. <laughs> All right. All right, I guess Another we'll see day. you out in the field. Good day. So these are just sweet peas, regular? These are the regular shelling peas. And I get them when they're still small. I don't like big, tough peas. I want small, sweet peas. So we'll pick them now. And later tonight, we get to shell them. You know, before we had the market garden and trying them, I didn't really know how good <laughs> peas could be. You didn't really care for peas that much. No. no but it's almost do. like corn, though. If you've never Sweet. had corn picked, I mean, cooked within 12 hours of it being picked, then you may not know what real sweet corn tastes like. And fresh peas out of the garden. They're a lot of work to pick, to shell, <laughs> steam, eat. Man, when but you get that first... they're definitely worth it. You get that first bite, it's like, oh, gosh. Especially if you pick so them. They're so good. Yeah, if I pick them and I <laughs> shell them and I cook them. <laughs> yeah. They're really good to so use. You steam them, don't you? I do steam them. And then put just a tiny bit of butter, a little bit of salt, yeah. and actually just a splash, like a pinch of salt of a little sugar. Just a little extra sweetness, not much. And these are actually going to start to wind down. They're going to soon be done. I'll miss peas until fall. All right, what kind of peas are these now? They're technically snow peas because you eat the whole pod. But a lot of people just call them sugar peas because they are very sweet. But I mean, you can eat them right off the vine. They're sweet, tender, delicious. 
Where are your little helpers this morning? I don't know. In? I don't have any helpers today. <laughs> They'll probably be out later. They usually pick at least something today. They like sampling things as they pick. Yeah. That's the fun part of it. Now these are the ones you can't miss one day, because if you miss them one day, they're ginormous the next and tough. I think I see my helpers coming. Yeah, when they get. Red raspberries are winding down, huh? Yeah, well, not yet. There's still quite a bit on here. So I bet another week, maybe more. But there's still berries coming. There's still bees flying around. You really have to look for these guys, they hide. Some are nice and easy. A lot of birds this morning. I know, isn't it beautiful? I love hearing the birds chirping. Although they're saying she's picking our raspberries. Now we can't get the raspberries. Now my helpers showed up. What you picking, Allie? Red raspberries. Are they yummy? Yeah. You have to taste some once in a while, don't you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I found just bunch. Ooh, yum, yum. <laughs> All right. Black raspberries, huh? Yeah, and they're the tricky ones. <laughs> they have the thorns. <laughs> yeah. You know, like these right in there. Yep. You end up with scratched up hands, scratched up arms. You try to be sneaky and miss the thorns, but somehow they get you. Is that and what your berries, band for? There's berries way down. No, that was from something else. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. That was from something else. Yeah, they certainly look nice. I love seeing all the new canes growing for next I year. I know, that's next year's blackberries, black raspberries. The blackberries are plumping up down there. A couple weeks we'll be picking them. So Missy, what are you picking? Black raspberries. You like black raspberries? Yeah. You're a good picker, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You have to be careful on black raspberries, don't you? They have thorns. Yep, you don't want to get poked. Like for example. Uh oh, he's too young, huh? You're good at spotting just the right ones, huh? What you looking for? Just checking the fungus. Um, we, about a week ago we noticed some and we sprayed. I don't think it's getting any worse, but um, it's not terrible, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna spray it again with some uh, copper fungicide just to make sure that it's stopped in its tracks. Fruit trees are tough, you know? We don't have them figured out completely but we're better this year than we were any of the other years. And we have good fruit on them. You can see there's some beautiful fruit in here and they're really unblemished, but we have to take care of the tree too to get, uh, make sure everything's healthy. Now we're checking our apples. This is a Fuji and uh, for a young tree, it's really loaded. We have uh, a lot of good fruit on here. Uh, we were watching early for the uh, cuddling moth and we've um, sprayed neem oil and some other treatments and um, I think they're at bay at this point but you got to check them every day because things can change very quickly on a fruit tree so we're looking forward to enjoying good uh, Fuji's and then the next few trees over are Granny Smith. I'm looking forward to making applesauce with our own apples. 
All right, we're just checking out some of our peaches. Oh, uh, beautiful peaches coming on board, but uh, peaches, you gotta watch for uh, leaf curl and, and fungus. And uh, we treated a couple times earlier in the year, and we went through a dry spell about five weeks. So the tree's a little stressed. We, we tried to give it some water. We're losing a few leaves, which generally happens in the heat of the summer, but I think uh, we have real good product coming on. Can't wait to enjoy the peaches. All right, I'm gonna take you on a ride. We're gonna do um, a ride around our pasture fence. Make sure the, the fence is clear and also brought my tester. I wanna check the foliage. I also have a little groundhog running there. So let's uh, see how we make out here. Well, the good news is that the tree line along the fence is clear, so we had no branches down, nothing to interfere with a uh, good electrical signal. Now I'm gonna test here. And out in the open, this should be good. There we go, 9.7. So we're clear. Looks like it's an easy morning as far as the fence is concerned. Just a little rain for lunch. How about that? Makes us take a break. And I'm ready for a break. <laughs> we're getting even more rain. It's not for a while. Yeah, this isn't really the big event. The storms are supposed to come later. Yeah, this wasn't really supposed to happen yet. So, but we got like a third of an inch out of this. Nice. And it dropped the temperature 10 degrees. Yeah. For now. But the humidity is crazy. Yes, it is. Hey, we're on a road trip now. I'm headed to the mill. I need to get some cattle feed and chicken feed and also um, a little more sweet corn. So we're gonna be at the mill soon and I'll show you around. It's a pretty good, cool old place. All right, we got your chicken food and mash and everything. So. Uh. Black oil sunflower seeds. Extra protein for the girls. And other food, so we're good to go. Now these are the easy ones, they're only 50 pound bags. Next comes we the cattle We go over food. the barn, they're 100 pound. All right, I'll meet you over to barn. Okay. All right, these are the 100 pound bags. They're a lot tougher to, to manage, so I'll use the hand truck. And crack corn. <laughs> and 
And then we have grain cattle feed. You guys want to know what's going on, don't you, huh? You know that's your food coming in here, huh? What do you think, Lily, huh? What do you think? And there's Daisy. Yes, Daisy, I see your nose. And TJ and Bacardi. TJ's the one with a little bit of white on his face. Hi, TJ. On really hot days, I give my girls a special little frozen treat. Since it is strawberry season, I've been freezing the strawberry tops in little containers with water. And they peck away at it, and it helps cool them off, I think. Makes me feel better anyway. I also make sure they have cold, fresh water. All right, I worked outside as long as I could. It was very hot and very humid. Worked this morning, then there was a little storm at lunchtime, went back out and worked some more. Now I'm tired. So I'm actually gonna experiment with some different herbal tea. I'm still trying to learn what combinations and what herbs I like. So I just keep experimenting with different mixes. So today, as I'm picking black, red raspberries, I'm thinking, you know, that would be good. Red raspberries in there. I don't know how many. This is all an experiment. And then I have a little bit of lemon balm, a little bit of hibiscus leaves, petals more accurately, and everything when I make, I put a little bit of, of uh, mint in it. I love mint. So I put a few more raspberries. And then I'm gonna smush it all together and break it up and release whatever. And I have the water already hot. I'll put some hot water on it, let it seep for maybe, I don't know, half hour to an hour. Put some ice in it and try it. Oh, I smell the mint. Oh, it smells good. So after it sits for about a half hour to an hour, I'll probably put a little bit of honey in while it's still warm. Oh look, it's already turning like pink and purple. <laughs> it's gonna taste good and be pretty. So, I like how this combination tastes. It sure smells good. I will find out. All right, closing up a little bit early. Storm's on the way. That was lightning. It's definitely coming. All right, girls, storm's coming. Okay. I close you up here. Keep dry, keep warm. Night, night, girls. Well, the end of another day. One of the cool things about a busy day is being able to relax on the porch. Especially when it's getting ready to rain. Yeah. <laughs> so. A lot of people go to the movies for entertainment. For farmers, <laughs> it's sitting and watching the rain. Yeah, watching the radar first to see how far away and it's gonna hit. So we think we're gonna get some rain here. The storm, I think, is winding down a little bit. We'll see in a few minutes. We'll know. Yeah. But it was a very, very good day. We got a lot accomplished. Yeah, we did.
But that's kind of how it is every day here on the farm. Yeah. So did you try your tea yet? No, I didn't. You want to try All it? Right. See what you think? Okay. This is the herbal tea I made. All right. I may have a little popcorn first. <laughs> yeah, we eat popcorns at our rain movie. It's like a movie theater. <laughs> Give it a try. Cheers. Cheers to you. Very mild. Yeah, very refreshing though. I taste the raspberry. You know what I taste the most? What do you taste? The uh, mint. Oh, see, I was thinking I'd add more mint. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's a lot of I love mint. mint. It's very fresh. It is, it's refreshing yeah. and very good for us. Not heavy. Yeah. So. But a wonderful day and wonderful ending to the day. Yeah. So thanks for joining us for a day on the farm. Bye-bye. <laughs>